Dear Heavenly Father, Dear Father, thank you for this uh, beautiful day and for all your help. Thank you for the schönen Tag and for the ganze Hilfe. Thank you that we are all here in class. Thank you that we are here gemeinsam in the class. And I want to ask you now that you will uh, bless us as a class. I bitte dich, dass du uns segnest. That you will come amongst us. Dass du bitte unter uns kommst. That you will help Father to understand what is going to be to present. Dass du uns hilfst. Dass du uns hilfst zu verstehen, das was jetzt vorgetragen wird. Help also the translation and the live stream. Segne bitte die, äh, die Übersetzung und auch den Livestream. And I want to ask you that you also help us to focus our thoughts on the topic. Bitte helft uns, dass wir uns auf das Thema fokussieren können. Help us to be blessed by this class. Helft uns, dass wir gesegnet werden durch dieses Studium. And I want to ask you that you please keep Satan away from us. Ich bitte dich auch, dass du den Satan von uns hältst. In Jesus' name, Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Um, tonight we want to look at the middle right line. The Abend wollen wir uns die Linie der Mitte rechts anschauen. And the topic is the middle right line in fractals, okay? Das Thema ist die Miller Linie in Fraktal. Okay, so up here we can see the middle right line. Von diesem Punkt an können wir die Linie der Miller Rechten sehen. And on top I laid over the last reform line. Okay. Und da oben seht ihr die letzte Reformlinie. Okay, and we understand uh, if we would overlay the last reform line on top of the middle line. Und wenn wir die letzte Reformlinie auf die Mittellinie drauflegen. Yeah, we understand we have two times of trouble and a little time of peace. Okay. Mit zwei Zeiten der Trübsal und eine kleine Zeit des Friedens. So, <clears throat> I mark down 1798, 1833, 1840 here. So, what did I, what did I do? 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 Also ich habe dies Fraktal genommen und einfach langgezogen. So it's the same as if I had taken the Sunday Law, the Final Review and laid it out here. Es wäre dasselbe, wenn nicht das Fraktal vom Sonntagsgesetz bis zur finalen Untersuchung hingetan hätte. Okay, then we understand right in each fractal there are how many thunders? Seven thunders, right? Again, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven thunders here. Und wir wissen ja, dass wir in jedem Fraktal sieben Donner haben. All right. So, but what I can do with the first Sunday Law, I can also do with the second. Second, right? Das, was wir mit dem ersten Sonntagsgesetz tun können, können wir auch mit dem zweiten machen. Okay. So, if I would now take this fractal, just tell me which way marks that I have here already. Can I place now here? And where do, do they come? Wenn wir jetzt dieses Fraktal hier unten auslegen, wo würden die äh, Wegmarken auf dieser Linie platziert werden? April 19th would be here, right? Das wäre der 19. April. Then Midnight Cry would be here. Yes. Dann haben wir hier den Mitternachtsruf. And October 22nd would stay here. Das wäre der 22. Oktober. Alright, so in tonight's study, I want to try to identify with you guys the remaining way marks. Und in diesem Abendstudium möchte ich mit euch zusammen die, aus, die freien Wegmarken auswählen. 
Yes. Okay. So, <coughs> so let us look at this fractal first. Okay. Lass uns dieses Fraktal zuerst anschauen. I know that uh, Brother Fiore, he also, he already uh, yes, um, looked at this in one of his studies. Und in einem Studium von, von Fiore haben wir uns das Fraktal schon mal angeschaut. Okay, so, on this way mark, what takes place? Was geschieht an dieser Wegmarke? Messenger is raised up. Yes. Ein okay. Botschafter wird aufgerichtet. Yes. Okay. So in a in a small version, right, the Lord must have al already dealt with this in a similar manner in this first fractal then. Okay. Okay. So in this fractal, so in diesem Fraktal, uh, the Lord must have dealt with and you probably have the wrong words. He, he he must have you know, um, dealt in the same pattern as he did on the big fractal. Okay. Also, in diesem Fraktal hat der Herr genauso gehandelt wie auch im großen Fraktal. So, the, the parallel way mark in the fractal must be the raising up of a messenger. Here. Das heißt, in dieser Linie müsste diese Wegmarke die auf, das Aufrichten eines ähm, Botschafters sein. Because 1833 in in the fractal would be uh, this way mark here, the, the yeah. Sunday law, the midnight cry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Then 1833 müsste dieser Weg mark here, yeah, the Sonntagsgesetz oder the Mitternachtsruf sein. What's it called? Midnight cry, it's like a complicated matter, it's quite straightforward. That's a fractal, so you have you got this, whatever lines up the rest has got to represent that. Yes, you know, yes. Also, was immer. This below, the one below. What, what, the one what, below is, it's got to represent the one above. Also, just a fractal. Right? Diese beiden Wegmarken müssten dasselbe zeigen wie auch hier in der obersten. Yes. Okay. Because that's the pattern, and the, these are the fractals, and the fractals are repeating patterns of the bigger one. Okay. Das Ganze ist ein Muster, und die Fraktale müssten immer dasselbe zeigen wie in dem Muster hier oben. Yes. Okay, so 1818 was suggested, and what did take place in 1818? Let's go to your notes. Lass uns unsere Notiz lesen, was 1818 geschehen ist. And great controversy 329.2. Okay. Everybody there? Yes. Das erste Zitat. Okay, I would just and start reading it. Um, speaking about Miller, he had devoted two years to the study of, his, of the Bible when in 1818 he reached the solemn conviction that in about 25 years Christ would appear for the redemption of his people. I need not, not speak, says Miller, of the joy that filled my heart in view of the delightful prospect, nor of the ardent longings of my soul for participation in the joys of the redeemed. The Bible was now to me a new book. So it's basically here the message got formalized, right? And so here wurde die Botschaft formuliert. Yes. Okay, so it was in 1818 that Miller then understood that Christ would return at the end of the 2300 days. Es war 1818, da hat Miller verstanden, dass Christus ähm, wiederkommen wird. Okay, now let's go to uh, Deuteronomy 1818. Okay. We use this, this verse many times. Let's just read it. Das geht zu 5. Mose 18, Vers 18. Frau Mark, you want to read this first, please? I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto me, and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Okay. So, uh, probably no accident uh, that it's 1818, but it doesn't matter. Just speaks about the raising up of a prophet. Okay. Also, in dem Vers spricht es um das um, Aufrichten eines Propheten. And I don't know if you know this, but in this movement we long time struggled whether this way marking this line would be actually 1818 or 1833. Okay. Und damals haben wir waren wir uns nicht ganz sicher, ob diese Wegmarke 1833 oder 1818 markiert. Yes. 
Uh, but as soon as we understood the seven thunders, it's a fulfillment of prophecy, then we understood mm -hmm. it's 1833 because of the falling of the stars. Nachdem wir die sieben Donner verstanden haben, wussten wir, dass das eine Erfüllung von Prophetie sein muss. Because of the falling of the stars. Wegen dem Fall der Sterne. Yeah. But, um, but 1818 would not be entirely wrong because in the fractal it's marking the same way mark. Okay. Aber 1818 wäre nicht ganz falsch, denn in dem in den Fraktalen markiert es dieselbe Wegmarke. Yes. Okay. So. <coughs> Alright. So. What, what would this be? This one. Hmm. Okay. Was würde diese Wegmarke sein? 31. Yes. We looked at this 1831. Right? Das wäre 1831. Okay. So. Let us read. Yes. Let us read. Um, in Great Controversy 330.2. Lass uns das nächste Zitat lesen aus dem großen Kampf, Seite 330. Uh, Marius, you want to read this first, please? He began to present his views in private as he had the opportunity, praying that some minister might feel their force and devote himself to their promulgation. But he could not banish the conviction that he had a personal duty to perform in giving the warning. The words were ever recurring to his mind, go and tell it to the world. Their blood would I require at a hand. For nine years he waited. The burden still pressed him on his soul until in 1831 he, for the first time, publicly gave the reasons of his faith. Yes, okay. So, what, what does it also then mark for us here? What's markiert das für uns? Because this would be a parallel to, we to midnight, must right? Publicly go forward yes, and give. Exactly. Right. Also, das wäre das erste Mal, wo wir öffentlich vorwärts gehen und die Botschaft geben. Uh, it's first time people really, I guess, outside of the message, uh, really getting recognized. Yes. Also, das ist das markiert das erste Mal, wo die Menschen außerhalb dieser Bewegung von der Botschaft gehen. Because well, so this would be 2014, right? That's 2014. That's 2016. That's 2016. And that's midnight. That's midnight. In our line. Okay. In our line. Alright. So, <clears throat> what happened in 1842? What geschah in 1842? What was the fulfillment of this waymark? Was war die Erfüllung dieser Wegmarke? So the foundation is laid. People start to fight against the truth. Yes, okay. Also das, wo das Fundament gelegt wurde und das, and the, äh, die Menschen begannen dagegen, and the foundation was what? sich dagegen zu wehren. Was war das Fundament? Let's go to Habakkuk chapter 2. Yes. Lasst uns zu Habakkuk chapter 2 gehen. Let's read verse 2. Habakkuk, Kapitel 2, Vers 2. Vers 2. Um, Philip, you want to read this one? Okay. The Lord also may I say, write the vision and make it thing of the demons, that he may run the vision. Okay. So it was the 1843 chart, right? Das war die 1843er Karte. And what was done here? Was wurde According to this verse. Was ist dort passiert gemäß des Verses? Yeah, something was written, right? Also die Karte wurde niedergeschrieben. Because John is standing here at the final review and he is told, write what you see, saw, what you see and what shall be. Right? Past, Hat, present, future. Johannes steht hier und er soll das auch schreiben, was in der Vergangenheit, in der Gegenwart und in der Zukunft geschieht. And here it is where it's then written. Okay. Und das markiert den Punkt, wo es aufgeschrieben wird. Okay, so now let's go to the next quote. Lass uns zum nächsten Zitat gehen. Because we will see that in 1833, in between 1831 and 1833, Miller started to write. Okay. Denn wir werden sehen, dass zwischen 1831 und 1833 hier in der mittleren Wegmarke Miller begann ähm, zu schreiben. And in the year 1833. Ja, 18, 32. Okay, let's read this. Um, 
David, you want to read this next quote? You can start in the beginning and read until the end of the bold face. With my limited views of the subject, the second event, I saw that if Mr. Miller was correct respecting the soon coming of the Savior, then the most important point in his theory was to run well into the main standards of the theories and trace them to their termination. The first issue in pamphlet form by Mr. Miller is dated 1832. Okay, so here we see um, the first issue in pamphlet form was in 1833. Okay, and next quote also. Uh, Sister Daniel, you want to read the first paragraph, the first two? I just read all of it. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Soon after he he began to lecture on the subject, Mr. Miller began to be important to write out and publish his views. In a letter to Elder Hendricks, dated January 25, 1832, he says, I have written a few numbers on the coming of Christ and the final destruction of the beast, when his body shall be given to the burning flame. They may appear in the Berman Telegraph, if not in pamphlet form. They are written in letters to Elder Smith of Paul Play, and he has liberty to publish. On the same occasion, he adds, I am more and more astonished at the harmony and strength of the Word of God, and the more I read, the more I see the folly of it, infidel in rejecting this word. The articles refer to Versantus and Nunez to the editor of the Telegraph who declined their publication unless informed of the name of the writer. This being communicated to him, they appeared in a series of 16 articles over the initials okay. of William Miller. The first article was published in the paper of May 15, 1832, and they passed much conversation and discussion. Yes, okay, so this is the first time published something uh, in a written form. Also, das ist das erste Mal, wo eine Ausgabe öffentlich uh, veröffentlicht wurde. Okay. And so this is here where he started to write. Das ist hier, wo er begann zu and um, yeah, this way back we understand, right, it's 1833, uh, he got the license to preach and the falling of the stars took place. Wir wissen, dass 1833 Miller seine Lizenz zum Predigen bekommen hat und die Sterne fielen vom Himmel. Yes. And what did we identify last time this would be? Was haben wir letztens... Uh, here in this way mark markiert. Yes, right. When you look at the 1850 chart here, we have 1837 marking the first angel. Also, das wäre 1837, wo der erste Engel markiert ist. So, let's read this. I mean, um, Let's read the first two quotes. Lass uns die nächsten zwei Zitate lesen. Uh, Susie, you want to read this first, please? For further proof, see the parable of the ten virgins, Matthew 25, 1 to 12, most speakingly and peculiarly, and um, from the spring of, to the fall of 1844. Great was the company of those that published it, and ancient nor modern history has never recorded the life of God's people. Why? Because there never was to be but one going out to meet the bridegroom, and that must accord with the one in the type, and which did most strikingly. Just look back to 18. 37, when the glorious 
the doctrine of the second event began to rise and move through this land of messengers with their first and second message. Okay. So here we see, right, it says 1837, it started when this message went forward. Also here see we that 1837, the Botschaft forwards. And um, then you want to read the next one? And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Hear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come. Fulfilled in the special proclamation of the everlasting gospel based on the prophecies and termination of the prophetic periods between the years 1837 and 1844. Yes, and this was by Uriah Smith. Okay, so the first quote was by jo Joseph Bates and the second one was by Uriah Smith. The first citation was from Joseph Bates and the second one was from Uriah Smith. Okay, so they both mark 1837 as Basically, the beginning where the first angel's message somehow went forth. Okay. Und beide markieren das Jahr 1837 als den Punkt, wo die erste Engelsbotschaft vorwärts ging. Okay, and in the next quote we don't have to read it, but this is where Joseph Wolf in 1837, what happened to him? Okay, let's maybe read the sentence where where the bold face is. Lass uns das nächste Zitat zum Toten durch das Fett gedruckt lesen. So, he, that is Joseph Wolf, arrived in New York in August 1837, and after speaking in that city, he preached in Philadelphia and Baltimore, and finally proceeded to Washington. Here he says, on a motion brought forward by the ex-president John Quincy Adams, and in one of the houses of Congress, the House unanimously, unanimously, how do you pronounce it? Unanimously. Unanimously granted to me the use of the Congress Hall for a lecture, which I delivered on a Saturday, honored with the presence of all the members of Congress and also the Bishop of Virginia and of the clergy and citizens of Washington. Mm -hmm. So, basically, he gave a message here before whom? Hall of Congress. Yes, before the kings, right? Also, er gab hier eine Botschaft vor den Königen. Okay. Okay. Yes. Das wäre ein Typus zum Mitternachtsruf. Okay, so, all right, so everybody can see the reasoning behind these dates. Kann jeder die Daten hier aufgeschrieben nachziehen? Okay, good. Then let's go to the next fractal. Lass uns zum nächsten Fraktal gehen. Okay, so there's already one date that we can already know. What is ein Datum wissen wir schon? Yes, right. Midnight. So midnight we have here, which was July 15th, 1837. Right? And midnight cry was August 15th. Okay, so April 19th marked the, the first disappointment. And here, this marks when somehow the message is formalized, right? 19 April war die erste Enttäuschung. Diese Wegmarke markiert dann, wo eine Botschaft formuliert wird. Yeah. The message that will dictate the rest of the line, basically, right? Mm -hmm. Dictate. Diktieren. Okay, das wäre dann die Botschaft, die. die den Rest dieser Linie diktiert. Yes. Which is formulated here. Und diese Botschaft ist hier formuliert. Because that's always where the message is formulated on this way, right? Denn dass diese Wegmarken markieren ja immer, wo die Botschaft formuliert wird. Okay, so who was the only one who was not disappointed on April 19th? Wer war der Einzige, der am 19. April nicht enttäuscht war? Well, Mellor also was not, he knew, but there was a few, but more, most were. It's Snow definitely, because Snow understood that that wasn't the date. But Miller also, he was disappointed. Oh, he, oh sorry, I was thinking of March 21st, sorry. Yes, you're right. Yes. Everybody was disappointed except Samuel Snow, yeah, right? Yes. Also, jeder war enttäuscht in diesem Datum, uh, bis auf Samuel Snow. Okay, and I would suggest that it was also him 
was raised up as a messenger here and formulates the message for this seventh month movement, how it was called. Okay. Ich schlage vor, dass es auch ähm, dass auch er die der Botschafter der aufgerichtete Botschafter war, der die sogenannte der die Botschaft für die siebten siebten Monatsbewegung formuliert hat. Okay. Alright, so and yeah, and it must be yeah, when must be between April 19th and July 21st where he basically formulated the message for this seventh month movement. Okay. Die Formulierung ähm, der Botschaft für die sieben Monatsbewegung muss zwischen dem 19. April und dem 21. Juli sein. Okay, so let's look at this. Lass uns das anschauen. Um, this is now taken from uh, prophetic faith of our fathers. Let's read the first paragraph. Uh, Ibrahimak, you want to read this? Yes. Beginning first with an article written in February 16, 1843, and continuing progressively throughout 1844, Samuel S. Snow emphasized the autumnal Jewish seventh month tissue as the true ending of the prophetic 2300 year span, with the beginning dated from the autumn of 457. As early as May 1844, Snow wrote. Yes, okay, so when did he wrote this? That's May. one that Snow has geschrieben. May. This is all 1844, so it's yes. in May. Okay. Okay. This was in May. So I don't know the date yet. I look, try to find out the precise date where he wrote it, but I couldn't find it yet. Okay. Also, I wanted das genaue Datum herausfinden, wann er das geschrieben hat, aber ich konnte es nicht finden. But Lord willing, we will find it. And then basically he wrote then when we jump over the next paragraph and read the third paragraph. Wir springen jetzt über das nächste Zitat und lesen das dritte. He says basically, I believe this argument to be based on, a, on correct premises and to be perfectly sound. What then is the conclusion? It must certainly be this, that, this, that as the 70 weeks ended in autumn AD 34, the remaining part of the 2300 days that is 1810 years being added brings us to the autumn of 1844. So that's where he formulated now basically this date, okay, the autumn of 1844. Here he formulated the message that 2300 days would end here. Also here he the message formuliert, that the 2300 Tage dort am 20. Oktober enden. Yes. Okay. So, and then we understand right here, midnight. Yes, it's this way, Mark. And, and then we need to find something between July 21st and August 15th. Jetzt müssen wir eine Wegmarke finden zwischen dem 21. Juli und dem 15. August. Alright, and that were only. 25 days, okay, in between. Und es waren nur 25 Tage dazwischen. So, I try, I have now, I, I'm not settled on what to put there yet, okay. Also, ich bin mir noch nicht sicher, was ich hier markieren soll. But, um, well, he was right in the series. Uh, we, we can see, right, that this is marking to, that something is written here, right? Aber diese Wegmarke, wie wir verstehen, markiert ja etwas, wo was, ja, geschrieben wird. Okay. So, and, um, so let's go and see. So I basically I had three options here, but I tend to go with the third one. Okay, so the first option uh, where you have like a date that somehow is related to what goes on here is the first quote by Joseph Bates. Die drei Optionen. Die erste wäre ein Zitat, das erste Zitat von Joseph Bates, das hier vielleicht markiert werden kann. Uh, basically, he said that there was a camp meeting shortly before the Exeter camp meeting here, where the Midnight Cry was given. And that camp meeting was on August 1st. Okay. Er sagt, wenn das kurz vor dem Camp meeting, das am 15. August war, Auch ein camp meeting. So the camp meeting was held in Concord, New Hampshire, somewhere about the 1st of August. 
Here, as we afterwards learned, the cry resounded throughout the camp. On the 12th of August, another was held in Exeter, New Hampshire. So, what did, what did Joseph Bates say here? What did say Joseph Bates here? On August 1st, what already... The cry. Yes, <laughs> yes the cry resounded. Okay. Also, on the 1st of August, wurde der Ruf schon gegeben. So, maybe, okay, this could be the date. Right. Vielleicht könnte das, das Datum hier markiert sein. Okay. Then the second option would be... Uh, here, this is um, J.B. Himes in his, um, what is it, HST, it's one of those newspapers, right, that he was publishing. In zweite Option könnte ein, eine Zeitschrift von Himes sein. But I don't know if this would be valid, but um, it was published on August 7th, 1844. Es wurde when? When? August 7th. Und das wurde am 7. August veröffentlicht. And there he basically made an invitation to come to the Exeter Camp Meeting. Und in dieser äh, Zeitschrift hat Heims eine Einladung zu dem Exeter Camp Meeting gegeben. Okay, so we would call the attention of our friends who live in this vicinity to the notice in another column of the Camp Meeting at Exeter, ex at Exeter New Hampshire. And then he basically makes this invitation um, to come, but I don't know. I don't know if this would be compatible with all these other reform lines, the, the respective no, the, the, the next thing is probably more correct. Yes. So the third option would be another letter written by uh, Samuel Snow. Where he lays out all the doctrinal points. Yes. Die dritte Option wäre ein weiterer Brief von um, Samuel Snow. Okay, when you just jump down to the very end of this uh, letter. Wenn wir springen zum Ende dieses Briefes. And then you can see SS Snow, Worcester. Worcester. Uh, Worcester. Worcester. Okay. Worcester. Worcester. Yes. Okay. August 8, 1844. Okay, this is when he wrote this letter. Also am 8. August 1844 hat Samuel Snow diesen Brief geschrieben. In, in this letter he basically, you can say, lays the foundation for his doctrine, for his understanding. Okay. Und in diesem Brief äh, legt Samuel Snow das Fundament seines, äh, seiner Lehren aus. And which he basically then presented publicly here on August 15th again and then it was received. Und das hat er am 15. August um, ausgelegt. Presented publicly. Oder öffentlich verkündigt. Yes. And which was then accepted and the Midnight Cry went forth. Und das wurde dann angenommen und der Mitternachtsruf konnte dann weiter. So that's the most likely date I would also tend to. Uh, as, as this way mark in the fractal. Also, Es ist sehr wahrscheinlich, dass es der acht, dass von den drei Optionen es der 8. August wäre. Okay. So, and then we understand August 15th was the midnight cry. Der 15. August war der Mitternachtsruf. And then just leaves this year over. Okay. Es bleibt dann uns nur noch diese Wegmarke übrig. So, it must be something between August 15th and October 22nd. Es muss irgendwas zwischen dem 15. August und dem 22. Oktober sein. Okay, and I would suggest it is October 13th. Ich würde vorschlagen, dass es der 13. Oktober ist. Okay, so what was October 13th? Lass uns lesen, was am 13. Oktober geschehen ist. And because October 22nd was which date in the Jewish calendar? Und welches Datum war der 22. Oktober in dem jüdischen Kalender? Yes, 10. April, 7th month, right? Das war der 10. Tag des 7. Monats. Okay. So, if you come back to October 13th, what was it? Wenn du jetzt von dem Datum zurückzählst bis zum 13. Oktober, Yes, first day of the 
Das wäre dann der erste, Ta erste Tag des siebten Monats. Uh, let's turn now in our Bibles to Leviticus 23. Gehen wir jetzt in unserer Bibel zu dritter Mose. 23. Dritter Mose, Kapitel 23. Leviticus 23. And let's read verse uh, 24. Dritter Mose, Kapitel 23, Vers 24. I don't know whose turn it is. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall you have a Sabbath, a memorial of blowing of trumpets and holy convocation. All right. So, what did take place on the first day of the seventh month? So, was stand, uh, fand statt am ersten Tag des siebten Monats? George chapter 2, verse 1. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's the, the Feast of Trumpets, right? Yes. Es ist das Fest der Posaunen. Okay. So, so the trumpet in Zion, so in the Nawal, yes, exactly. Yes. So it's, it's the trumpet here. Okay. Also es markiert die Posaune. Um, and here at the midnight cry, what are you to do? Was sollen wir hier am Mitternachtruf Blow the geben? Blow the trumpet in Zion. Right? Wir yeah. sollen die okay, let's go first to Joel chapter Posaune geben. Two to remind us. Gehen zu Joel, mm -hmm. Chapter 2, Kapitel 2. Let's read verse 1. Joel, Kapitel 2, Vers 1. Und Philipp, wir wollen das Wort. Glory in front of the Zion, the Son of the Lord, and the Holy Mountain. The God in heaven is a land tremble to the day of the Lord Thomas, which is night. Yes. But here at the midnight cry, where you give now the warning that the day of the Lord is at hand. Right? Also, du gibst hier Mitternachtsruf die Warnung, dass der Tag des Herrn nahe ist. And let's also go to um, Isaiah 58. Gehen wir jetzt auch zu Jesaja 58. Das ist der Holy Spirit, so das ist der Message, same Message, die John hat. Yes. He said, he said, I am one crying in the room. Yes, yes. Isaiah. Also. Ellen White sagt, dass Johannes dieselbe Botschaft gegeben hat. John, John the Baptist. Also Johannes der Täufer. Mm -hmm. So let's go to Isaiah 58, verse 1. Isaiah 58. Uh, David, yeah. you want to read this verse, please? Vers 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people the transgression. And the house of Jacob, their sins. Yes, okay, so here also you... That's the message of John, she, she says, right? And you lift up your voice like a trumpet, okay? Also, es sagt, dass es die Botschaft von Johannes dem Teufel ist, wo es heißt, dass du die Posaune um, laden sollst. Yes. Right. Okay. So, um, John, das Wegmark ist mit einer Krack, right? Und Johannes, hier auf der Wegmark, ist ja auch sehr wie der Mitternachtsmark. Okay. So, but also, What is also marked here at the midnight cry according to Revelation 11? Was ist gemäß Offenbarung 11 auch hier am Mitternachtsruf markiert? Yes, the death decree. What else? The death decree. The judgment. Yes, but according to Revelation 11. Okay, of course. Yes, not true. But what historical event is marked? The French Revolution. Yes, the French Revolution. Also gemäß Offenbarung 11 haben wir hier auch die französische Revolution markiert. Alright, now let's read this quote here under October 13, 1844. Lesen, gehen zurück zu den Notizen, lesen das Zitat unter dem 13. Oktober 1844. Ähm, dann ja. After October 13 the equivalent of Tishri 1. Mm -hmm. So it's, it says, right, October 13th is Tishri 1, the first day of the seventh month. Okay. Also, it says here that the 13th October Tishri. 
Mhm. Also der erste Tag des siebten Monats ist. Ja. Der Schrie ist der siebte Monat in dem jüdischen Kalender. Okay. Alright, continue. It seemed to them as if God's protective restraints had been removed and the wrath of the wicked broke forth as if probation had closed. There was an an unaccountable opposition. Mob action was frequent and in various places meetings and speakers were threatened and assailed. Stones were pelted, mobs hissed and Millerite gatherings broken up. Not a few Millerites of Methodists and Congregationalist and Presbyterian background hastened to the baptismal pools or rivers for immersion. Intensity marked the close days, a quickened tempo and greater urgency took possession of men, like the fervor of the crusaders of old, as the movement swept toward its intense but orderly climax. There was the steam press rolled at top speed 24 hours a day to turn out Adventist papers for distribution without money and without price, and a dozen other presses ran day and night to supply the need, all the way from Maine out to Ohio and from Canada down into the south. Living messengers went from house to house in city and village and from farm to farm in the country with a last warning message. Yes. Okay. So it marks here, the last warning message was given and there's this mob activity just like in the French Revolution and it's like the four, wind, four winds are loosed, right? which is also the second war where it's loosed. Also, here wurde the last warning message given and it markiert this Unruhe. Also, and this Aufstände, yeah, so like in the French Revolution. And yeah. also the four winds. Yes, 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 because it says like it's, it's, it seemed to them as if God's protective restraints had been removed. Yes. Das ist ein Vergleich zu den vier Winden, denn es heißt, dass um, es ihnen so erschien, dass Gott seinen Schutz von ihnen genommen hat. Yes. And we understand right that here at the Midnight Cry the second war begins and the four angels are just. Wir yes. wissen ja, dass hier Mitternachtsruf die uh, zweite Weh beginnt und die vier Winde gelöst sind. Yes. Okay, so this would be my my reasoning. Okay, why to place these dates here? Also, so würde ich jetzt die Daten markieren. But I'm still open yeah, to be corrected on this. Ich bin offen, hier zu werden. But uh, at least for now, this seems plausible. Okay. Aber bis jetzt scheint das uh, plausibel zu sein. All right, so. And what we then also can do, and what everybody can try to study out for him or herself. Und jeder kann für sich selbst versuchen zu studieren. Uh, when, with all these other reform lines, okay. Also das, was wir heute gemacht haben, nur mit den anderen Reformen. Mm -hmm. So you can look at Jesus line, how we can find the seven thunders in this box and in this box. Wir können zum Beispiel in Jesu Linie Schauen, wie wir in dem ersten Fraktal die sieben Donner finden. And also in the second one. Und auch in der, im zweiten Fraktal. Or you can do it in Moses' line, on the line of the three decrees. Dasselbe können wir auch in der Linie von Mose und der der drei Dekrete machen. Yes. In maybe even in our line. Okay. Und vielleicht sogar auch in unserer Linie. So, that's something uh, where we should look at and try to figure out and see how far we can come with this. Das ist etwas, was wir uns anschauen können, können und uh, gucken, wie weit wir kommen. Alright. Mm -hmm. Amen. Everybody could understand? Mm -hmm. Also konnte jeder folgen. Amen. Okay. No thoughts to add? No. Then let's close with our prayer. Lass uns jetzt mit unserer Gebetsrunde schließen.